this, <clears throat> the last stretch of games since you all were six and six, what have you seen from the team and their focus and their dedication to winning every week? Well, I think the word resiliency is kind of thrown around sometimes and uh, it can go over your head because you hear it so much. It's part of coach speak or whatever you want to proclaim it to. But the thing that I think is kind of the root of that resiliency is just taking it one day at a time, focusing on each moment that is required out of that day. And then, like I've said a thousand times, those moments compound and then you have an opportunity to celebrate those moments on Sunday. So uh, just a team that's really not worried about the what ifs, if, if, if we lose this game or whatnot. So just kind of going out and just competing the best of our ability and letting the chips fall where they may know that we've done all we could do. Is that an indication of just, well, and I guess fear is sometimes a motivator, but in a good way. And, and when you've got this far, you've made it this far, I mean, the, the, the fear of disappointment of not going that to knowing that being out of the playoffs after doing what you've done would be something, an opportunity lost, a major opportunity lost. And this league is just full of opportunities lost, yeah. So uh, that would be kind of one of those things that, like I just talked about, you do such a good job of taking it one moment at a time and then you let one game Granted, it being a big one, these last four have been big games. And we understand, like Josh had alluded to, that uh, this this game, this atmosphere is going to be electric. Um, you know, the Dolphins have played amazing football this year, and they've deserved the right to host this game and uh, to have this opportunity to clinch the East. Um, and we're just thankful to also still be in the hunt, knowing that we've uh, let some – Opportunities dwindle in the past, but we're not worrying about that. We're just kind of worrying about what this moment entails. Mitch, I asked Josh about this. I know they're on the other side of the ball, but being a captain yourself, what, what kind of leadership have you seen from Jordan and Mike? And what's it meant to the whole team? Yeah, I, you know, I, I missed two years here with them, um, but the five years I've been with them here, they've just not only been the utmost consistency, you know, the epitome of consistency in regards to their approach as football players, but how they lead their group, how they lead by example, how they're just they're, they they bring everyone up around them. They're you know they got the the fiddle and everyone's kind of following, right? Not the fiddle, but you know, whatever you want to call it, the flute or whatever. Um, you guys get the point. Uh, but they do that by just being genuine guys, hard workers, and, and dudes that you want to gravitate to because they're awesome to be around because they're in it for the right reasons and they do it the right way. And uh, good football seems to follow them. Different is the Dolphins this time compared to Well, you know, you, you feel for guys who get injured. Um, it's just, it's guys who cheer for that, or, or you know, it's just they haven't played the game and they, they don't know what this does to a person or a team. And um, you know, I think they're still very, very sound football team. I think their interior guys really are. Uh, playing at a high level and they they cause a lot of destruction in there so for us it'll be <clears throat> especially the interior of the offensive line will be matching that intensity because both those guys play with you know competitive juice and they play very well they're just good football players would you prefer not knowing what the math is going into that game because the math is going to be there yeah that's a good point um yeah i'd say so it's it's going to be impossible to elude right um, but I don't think it's going to affect our approach to trying to win this game and be as competitive as possible. All right, thank you.